guys and welcome to this video on logic gates specifically we want to talk about the end gate so the end gate is a digital logic gate with two or more inputs and one output that performs logical conjunction which is an operation on two logical values so here we have our end gate this is the symbol for the end gate It's the ansi symbol and you can see that we have two inputs here uh, input a and input b and then we have our output, which is um, C. Now, for us to calculate what the output's going to be, we can use a logical expression, specifically this logical expression for uh, this end gate here, where we can multiply A times B to get our value C. This is, of course, if the inputs for A um, is, you know, 1 or 0. And the same thing for B, if the inputs are 1 or 0. And the 1, of course, can evaluate to true. So 1 can be uh, true. And we can think of, uh, I'm going to put a little arrow here. We can think of 0 as being false. So I'm going to put F for false and T for true. Okay, so let's uh, create a truth table here to see all of the possible outputs for our end gate here. So first I'm going to write our write down our input variables and our output variable. Okay. And then I kind of want to know how many rows do I need? Well, to calculate this, the number of rows, which are, which is the number of outputs, is two to the power of the number of inputs so n is going to equal the number of input so in this case we have two inputs a and b so we're going to have two to the power of two or four make sure i put two here make sure it looks really nice so two to the power of two which equals four so we're going to have four rows so four possible outputs so let me go ahead and create our four rows. So one row, two rows, three, and create our last one here. And now again, we can use our logical expression to calculate our output. So if A was true um, and B was true, then our output's true. If A was true and B was false, then our output is false. And if A was false and our and B was true, then our output's false. And if A was false and B was false, then our output, of course, is false as well. But uh, remember that um, we could use this logical expression to determine our output. So we're gonna, instead of using true and false or T and F, we're gonna use ones and zeros. And we're going to use that logical expression to uh, solve our truth table here. Okay, so I'm just going to erase some of these values here. Okay, so now I'm going to say we get 1 and 1. So we use this logical expression here. We get 1 times 1, which equals 1. So C equals 1. Now 1 and 0. Well, we could do 1 times 0. We get 0. So C is 0. And we get uh, 0 and 1. So we do 0 times 1, which is just 0. And then we do 0 and 0. So we get 0 times 0, which of course equals 0. And that completes our truth table. Okay. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's short. Uh, please leave likes, comments, questions. Uh, don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.